Hey guys, I'm Tim with Original Strength, and this week I wanted to talk about the squat, or maybe the inability to squat. So some people can't squat all the way down like this, and, and we should be able to. We, when we were children, we could sit like this for long periods of time. In other cultures, they sit like this for long periods of time, and honestly, this is a resting position. We should just be able to hang out here. But sometimes we can't or some people can't. And it, it could be that their ankles don't have the mobility so they can't get down here. It could be that maybe their anterior chain is weak or is not firing. Uh, or, it, you know what? It could be that their neck is weak. Could be that your neck is weak. It is possible that lack of uh, neck strength or head control could inhibit your ability to squat. So if you are someone who can't sit in a squat and you've worked on your ankle mobility and your hip mobility and maybe you've worked on uh, strengthening your, your core but you still can't squat, there's a chance, there's a chance that it could be your neck muscles not allowing you there to squat. So I'm going to give you some ideas of how we can test this out or strengthen it. And you know what? You can test this out. So at home, Check out your squat. Can you, where do you squat? Can you squat all the way down or can you get like right here or do you get here and then you fall backwards? You know, you know you, right? So check your squat and then try these exercises and then if you squat better or deeper or freer, maybe, just maybe, it's your neck or your diaphragm. Or you know what, don't worry about it. So just do this with me and if this helps your squat, that is awesome. So what we're gonna do as we're going to lay down here and you know what i'm going to have you actually if you can if you can just pull your feet up and if you need help just hold them here or hold them here whatever and we're going to just tuck your chin like this you're going to make double chins you're going to put your tongue in the roof of your mouth and you're going to breathe into your belly this is all we're doing what we're, oh, well, what we're really doing is, is we're trying to turn on the deep neck flexors. Because if they're off, chances are, well, here's the thing. Your deep neck flexors are connected to your core. And if your deep neck flexors are not firing or working like they're supposed to, your interior chain or your core is not gonna be as strong, reflexively strong as it should be. And it could compromise your ability to squat and do other stuff. So. All we're doing is we're trying to turn on our deep neck flexors here. So do this for about 10 good belly breaths. And just for fun, stand up and test your squat. Are you deeper? Was it easier? Was it freer? If so, hey, hey, hey. And if not, don't worry about it because we're going to do something else. So in this position still, now we're doing something else. You can hold here, here, whatever's comfortable. And if this is just is not comfortable at all, cool. Cool, just hold here, that's cool. But if you can. So, so now we're gonna go, we're gonna make that chin tuck and raise our head all the way up as far as it'll let us go. And we're gonna breathe here. So now we're really challenging the neck, keeping that chin tuck. Don't let your chin jut out. But keep it tucked. And we're gonna breathe deep into our belly here. The other cool thing we're doing is we're making our diaphragm stronger. So, you know, whether it's deep neck flexors or, or diaphragm, if one of those two aren't really doing or able to do all that they should be able to do, it could inhibit your squat and a lot of other stuff. So we're gonna take 10 breaths. And now let's stand up and check your squat. Mine even felt easier. So how, I only you know, like, and you just be honest with yourself, like, how did your squat feel? Was it easier? Were you deeper? Are you butt the calves now? Are you five inches deeper? Did it not change at all? If it didn't change at all, it may not be that you have, it may, it may not be that your neck is actually inhibiting you to squat. But if it did change, there's a chance that having a stronger neck would help you sit in the squat better. Um, anyway, Give that a shot. If this made your squat better, hey, do these exercises a little bit every day so that you can reflexively just keep your neck uh, healthy and, and your diaphragm stronger and, and your anterior chain is just going to fire better reflexively. 
um, and it'll be so much easier to sit into a squat. All right. Hey, if this worked for you, please let me know. I'm curious. If it didn't work for you, that's cool too. You can let me know that too. But there are some of you out there where it's going to make a big difference. Anyway, give that a shot. I'm Tim with Original Strength, and we'll see you next time. To learn more, consider attending an Original Strength workshop. Visit OriginalStrength.net.